private equity giant Blackstone also reporting first quarter earnings. The company missed Wall Street revenue forecast, but did beat on the bottom line. It saw inflows of $40 billion uh, during the quarter. That's the good news, but uh, there's a lot of news that we got to talk about in the real estate world for the numbers. Uh, and a guy who knows a lot about all this, John Gray, president and chief operating officer of the Blackstone Group. John, it's great to see you. Uh, this morning. Let's talk about these earnings. And then I want to get into the world of commercial real estate, uh, which is where you originally cut your teeth. Uh, and of course, I think is the issue du jour uh, when it comes to both your own firm, but maybe more broadly, the economy and the banks and everything else. Andrew, it's great to be here. Uh, we're incredibly proud of the quarter we delivered, particularly given the backdrop and what happened in the banking space. Um, we protected investor capital, which is the most important thing. We also saw $40 billion of inflows, as you noted, more than $200 billion over the last year. And for our shareholders, we delivered nearly a dollar of distributable earnings, despite performance fees being down. And I think what it really speaks to is the strength of our model. We have the ability to have real staying power. We've got minimal net debt. We're not forced to sell assets. We can ride through a storm. And then we've got a ton of firepower. We have nearly $200 billion of dry powder investors have given us, and we like that position in a dislocated market today. So, but tell us, let's go to the real estate piece of this, because I think there's a lot of focus. There's some headlines this morning, uh, specifically about the flagship uh, real estate income trust um, and what's happening with redemptions on that side. Can you speak to it? Sure. I think the issue on real estate is people think about it as all one thing. And what we think about is where you invest matters. If you look in the traditional U.S. office market, which is less than 2 percent of our overall portfolio, and the same thing with our B-REIT vehicle, there the fundamentals are very challenged. Unprecedented weakness, vacancy rates that are 20 percent, rental pressure, and investors and lenders are very cautious. But if you widen the aperture, you look at things like logistics, there you see almost unprecedented strength. That's 40 percent of our global portfolio, and their vacancy rates are less than 2 percent. Rents are running up double digits. You're seeing mark-to-market -market leases of 40, 50 percent. And that's really the story, that it is right. a diverse area in real estate, and specifically as to B-REIT, interestingly, in the first quarter, same store cash flows at that portfolio grew 9 percent. Strength right. there, again, in logistics, what, in rental housing, I, and, and, and data centers. Right. Sorry. Give, you no, know, I was going to say, given the redemption request, though, I assume somebody calls you and says, look, I, I want out of this. You've obviously put up uh, uh, s some walls in terms of uh, how much you can withdraw at any given time, which suggests to me that there's a lot of folks calling wanting to withdraw. What are you telling them? Well, as context, 96 percent of our U.S. customers last month elected to stay in, 94 percent of our overall customers. Redemptions are down from their peak in January by 16 percent. What we tell them is we've designed a product that's semi-liquid, where we can protect investors, where we don't have a dynamic like the banks face. So you can, if you need to provide liquidity, you do it over time. And that's what's happened with B-REIT. And the performance reflects where we've deployed capital and the strength of that structure. So we've delivered 12 percent since inception six and a quarter years ago. We've outperformed the public read index by threefold during that period, by 2,000 basis points last year. And if you were an investor and you started putting in redemptions at the end of November, at this point, you would have gotten back the vast majority of your money. So it's a structure that works. It's designed to provide liquidity over time, but protect returns. And that's exactly right. what's happening. 